Welcome everyone to another episode of It Burns, the show where I try various hot sauces and products and find out whether or not it burns. On this episode, I got another local hot sauce here from Tom's Garden out of, I believe, Xenia, Ohio. Yes, Xenia, Ohio. This is their man sauce. This is a perhaps their signature product, the man sauce. They've got three different varieties. They've got woman sauce, man sauce, and mistress sauce. Mistress is their hottest. This is sort of in the middle, but it's nothing to sneeze at, as its primary ingredient is habanero. Also has vinegar, water, onions, garlic, and other spices. Now, one thing I noticed, I've had their mistress sauce in a bottle as well. It's a little bit on the chunky side. I'd say it's more relish like fine like more like fine relish than it is a true liquidy sauce i remember tasting this at uh, was it um jungle gyms about a year ago and i remember it being you know quite hot enough to make me sweat a little bit let's see if my memory is any good yep and a bunch of sauces collected inside the neck of the bottle as usual that's another thing i don't really like about this sauce is because it is so thick and uh, chunky it, it's kind of difficult to pour out of the bottle so this might be a challenge itself aha here we go for smell it smells very flavorful it smells like a bunch of I get a little bit of the fruitiness of a habanero I can definitely also smell some garlic as well you know, the second ingredient is vinegar so let's see here all right here we go Tom's Gardens man sauce here we go Ooh. Oh crap! Oh crap! Hot! Good flavor at the beginning. What? <clears throat> Burns the back of my mouth. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. I think I did too much of this stuff. Ugh. Whoo! Ah. <laughs> oh, got hiccup. Did not expect that. Ugh. Ah, ah. Ugh, ah. Oh, I did too much. Oh. Hey, got me. Ah. Oh, ah. Ah. Let's get this scoring. Ah. Three points for heat. Ah. Screw the talking. Three points for heat. This definitely gets the full three. Ooh. Ah. Flavor. You get a lot of good flavors out of this. Ooh. Heat that takes over, but. Uh. Flavor's pretty nice. It's making my nose drip now. Ooh. Ooh. Five points for flavor. I'd say four and a half out of five. If you use this in reasonable quantities, this could provide quite a zing to any food you eat. So overall, I had two folds. Overall, I'd say 1.8. There's plenty of applications for this stuff. So we try to do some math while I'm suffering. So by my scale, at 10 possible points, this gets an outstanding 9.3. Now that I think about it, I think the sauce was this hot. I tasted it at Jungle Gyms. But yeah, if you're a fan of really hot stuff, and you can think of some uses for a thicker, chunkier, maybe not super chunky, but a thicker kind of sauce. You need to go out of your way to get this stuff. Yeah, get it. Well, that will do. That will do it for another episode of It Burns Down Brian's World. Thank you for watching. If you got an idea for hot sauce I can try in this show, leave a comment down below. Otherwise, don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe if you haven't already. And again, thank you for subbing, since I did hit my 100 sub goal. I'm still looking for the perfect time to film that uh, Karen Out of Reaper challenge. 
That's code for it. I'm too scared to do it, but it will be done. <clears throat> In the meantime, I need a new goal now. My new goal is going to be 250 uh, subs, but I need some inspiration and ideas as to what to do. It's got to be said. It's got to be something that I want to do. For that show, I want to cook something really weird, really out there. Maybe something really expensive or something really, really dumb and stupid. Or eat something really dumb or really expensive and weird. I don't want to do a hot challenge, at least not this time. But if you got ideas for that, leave a comment down below as well. I just might do it. But once again, thanks for watching and have a good one. Ugh. <sighs>